Okay, here we are. Okay, uh, so is it kind of a weird the sound or? Because Gloria wrote that and also I guess it was Eric or Cesar. I'm using the same microphone but this is a different computer. No, no, I'm actually I'm, I'm in that dining room. So does it sound like an echo or what, Gloria? Okay, I'm giving the microphones to you three. So in the meantime, I mean, in a second you will have them. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Eric. Okay, Gloria, now you can use it. Tell me why it sounds funny. Gloria, please, let me shy. Uh, Hello? Yes? Hello, can you hear me? Uh huh. It sounds like uh, an, an echo or something, it sounds funny. Let me see, maybe the... Is it the same for you, Eric? And okay, don't worry. Is it okay for you? I mean, says that Eric, is it the same for you? Does it sound like echo? Okay, thank you. Sorry. I, I don't... I don't feel okay because it is not my computer. Actually, it was my computer, but I gave it to my son. But anyway, okay, guys, uh, respect, respecting the responsible ones. Let's see, I'm sorry about last week. I had problems with the computer and I wasn't able to work as I must work. Okay, so let's go back a little bit to the VLE part B. I read what you wrote, what you wrote, yes, and I don't know, maybe, is it kind of a, for me, for two of the posts sounded like repetitive, I mean, the topic, not the, not the posts, what's your opinion? I cannot listen to anyone. Is that Eric, Gloria? Yes, go ahead, Gloria. Okay. Um, it is about the same topic, but we have more information about it. Uh, it, it explains us uh, a, a little bit deepest, right? Mm -hmm. um, now we know we know the difference between a, a deep virtual learning environment, and it, it's exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, Working with every tool we have, and working with every tool we are applying to the process. So it's, it's that, but more to add a little bit deep, right? Okay, thank you, Cesar. What do you mean by that question mark? You can use a microphone, Cesar. Okay, the question is ah. Uh, is the topic kind of repetitive for you, for all of you? Say so that, Eric. You can use a microphone, so sir. Typing is kind of slow. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Um, no? 
Well, I don't think it's kind of. I mean, we have been talking about education, technology, education, and etc. So it's, that's a pretty much our topic. I I think we still see you know some different things, or we see things a little more thorough, like in a thorough view. Like do we we go in deeper, more information, more things that could be important for us in our classes or wherever. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Eric? Well, I think that uh, this week we talked a little bit more about, you know, some common mistakes that can be made by tutors if they don't really understand how to, uh, to create virtual learning environments and that uh, kind of some of the way that it was started you know that's what I got from from this week's from this week's um, unit okay thank you uh, I was uh, talking to a friend he was asking me about a PLE have you heard about a PLE is I guess I told you a few weeks ago It's a personal learning environment. And she was asking me if a, PLE, if a PLE is the same as a VLE. And then, actually, she said that she learned about a VTE, Visual Teaching Environment. And, well, I answered, well, as far as I know, if you're talking about visual environments, they are more designed for learning, not for teaching. Of course, you can use any... For example, you can use a platform to teach. Uh, I guess uh, you have a subject that is called, I don't know, maybe English 1 or something like that. It's about English. Maybe you do not have it, but some some students need to take English and they, they have that subject. And in that, in that, for example, environment is mostly about teaching. But at the same time, in my, in my opinion, it should be more about learning. Why? Because students are the ones who are going to be uh, get advantage from the virtual environment. But anyway, let's continue. I don't know if you have uh, any questions about a PLE and a VTE. Go ahead. Uh huh. It's exactly what we're doing with uh, in English one. What you're saying? We're working in English one. Well, it is the same. It is the same if you mostly spend time uh, listening to a teacher. Uh, I mean, if the time you spend online is more about lecturing from the teacher, yes, it is a VTE. But actually, that's a new term I have never f heard before. Why? Because it is a virtual learning environment. You go there uh, in order to, um, how can I say, substitute something like substituting uh, or taking that the chance for not. You not you don't have time to go to a face-to-face -face class, so you're going to the online environment to learn what you should learn in a face-to-face -face class. So that's what I said. Well, that's what I mean. Uh, and as I said, for me, it's the first time I, I listened to this term, VTE. As far as I know, it's only a uh, virtual learning environment. Teachers spend not too much time. I mean, uh, for example, in a face-to-face -face class, usually we have the, the TTT, teacher talking time. And we know that it should be STT, student talking time. But you, you can see that most of the times it is more more about TTT than STT. Why? Because it is supposed that nowadays education is uh, student learning, uh, I mean, uh, learning centered, centered on the students. And then uh, if we spend too much time talking, explaining, etc., it's only TTT. And the best way to learn is by doing. That's what I think it should be, it must be STT, student talking time. But anyway, any questions, Cesar, Eric, Gloria? Okay, thank you, Cesar, Gloria. 
Okay, about uh, TTT, SCT, Eric? Okay. You know, and you already uh, posted what the advantages as well as disadvantages are in this, this kind of environment, yes? And I read, and actually, uh, for example, not exactly a disadvantage. I sent you a few minutes ago the relationship of your posts in this six week six, six, six sorry. And also, I sent you later uh, the same uh, PDF document, but a kind of a like an optional activity. I highlighted some words, some expressions, some uh, mistakes that I see. For example, if I compare that document, the last one, do you get it, by the way? Thank you, Cesar. Do you have a chance to read it? Okay, you can you can go and check it, Eric. Yes, the optional activity, Cesar. You can go and get it. It should be uh, in your email inbox. So, I highlighted some words, and I did this because I want I want you to show you I want to show you the differences between the advantages and disadvantages. For example. If let's pretend that this class is about uh, writing or something about about composition, when you write something, uh, even on a piece of paper, either on on the blackboard, the whiteboard, any any surface, you have the chance to do kind of a peer work or sometimes a, a kind of peer review. So you have your uh, classmates because it's a face-to-face -face class. You have the classmates to take a look at what you wrote, and also they give you feedback. And th then you have a chance to uh, modify the mistakes. So in this environment, in the, in the learning environment, I mean the online environment, I never do this because the class is not about writing or spelling or punctuation, etc. But anyway, I did this activity, this optional activity, because I want you, I want to show you the big difference between an online environment and the face-to-face -face environment yes for example if we are here sometimes uh, we correct each other yes that is a kind of a peer correction but anyway so i'm going to give you two or three minutes to go and download that the, the document the pdf the last one that is the the, the one that is uh, it says something like edited at the end so please go and take a look at it please thank you Cesar Do you listen to the uh, message? At the beginning, you can see, uh, I guess, in the first post, post at the top, a little speaker. If you click on it, you can listen to me. I guess the the sentence or the part that I underline is about mistakes, not exactly mistakes in the sense of um, communication. No, in the sense of the the form. Could be grammar. Could be I don't know coherence, something like that. It's only one part that is underlined. But anyway, were you able to listen to me?
Not exactly, it's a, it's optional. You can you can do it, but I want I want to show you the difference between a face-to-face -face environment and an online environment. Can you listen to? Uh, could you listen to it well, Tessa? I mean, because I have it in the computer, but it's not the same. When I send it, could be some differences, the browser, etc. Okay. Thank you, Cesar. Actually, as you notice in the last uh, written passage, it was a, a video. Yes, you can add uh, sound, images, video, um, what else, uh, and 3D images into a PDF, but you need uh, kind of a special software. It's kind of a, I'm typing the name. It's kind of expensive, but you can get it, I don't know, from a friend. For example, I use one of my my friends. Uh, he's got it, and I go and use it. Now, okay, and also you can you, you can add a, a flash document, so students read, interact with the PDF, etc. Yes, but the problem is that it's only one way. I mean, it is not two ways. I, I gave you I give you that document but you're not able to answer in the same way I mean you cannot you're not able to answer by uh, recording your voice uh, by uh, pasting a video etc unless you have the Ac acrobat pro but anyway so the point here is for example that the PDF is a great tool yes and Maybe working online has too many advantages, not exactly uh, uh, the ones that it, you are on the screen, not, not seeing the, the professor, the teacher, but what I mean is this, we can have a lot of uh, advantages, but as well, we can have many disadvantages, and as you wrote it, I guess it was uh, Mahara, Lucia, or Gloria, I'm not sure, I need to go back to the document. Uh, we cannot have immediate feedback, and that's, that is one of the big disadvantages. And let me go to the next uh, slide. And that is one of the risks in this kind of environment. Yes, but I will ask you to tell me about the disadvantages you have found so far in this environment. Could you please tell me, Eric, Cesar, Gloria? These advantages you have found as students in this BA and EL team. And you can use a microphone. Well, the first disadvantage I found over there is uh, that we don't have an immediately feedback. There's one of the, uh, for me, the, the principal disadvantage for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what else have you found in this uh, VA in ELT so far, Gloria? And you can give me the answer. Question? The question is, what else have you found as a disadvantage in this VA, VA in ELT uh, in all the subjects you are taking online? only that one the, the one I said the, the, the immediate feedback or when I have a question I, I do not receive it and immediately the, the answer for my question or how can I um, correct something or if I have a missing assignment or something I spend a lot of time uh, looking for someone or, or something to get the opportunity to do the things uh, on time Okay, thank you. Eric, Cesar? Well, for me, one of the disadvantages I've found is that sometimes, for example, assignments are not like 100% clear. And, you know, well, it kind of goes with what Gloria said, 
you know, I don't really know who to ask, or you know, some what somebody writes uh, is not like all that clear for me too. So um, that's been the one I found. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Okay. Mute feedback mostly. What about this kind of a personal communication with the tutors? Is that a disadvantage or an advantage? And why? Okay, so that, thank you, but it's not only about my subject. I'm talking about the different subjects you already have. And use a microphone, please. I mean, it's better to use a microphone than typing. The question is for everyone. All right, well, in me teaching your tutors like with you, time. I think it's a lot easier than with other teachers because I mean you pretty much give us your house phone number and like your e we have your email and the platform mail and everything and you respond pretty quickly with others it, it's not well we don't we can't call them you know between 9 and 10 or whatever but with them we just have to send an email and they reply well the next day or sometimes within the same hour but usually for me they reply like the next day and well you kind of need to uh, how can I say like when you're working on an assignment and when you need help it, it's better if you could have that help right away instead of you know working not finishing and let's say going to bed waking up the next day and you don't know when you're gonna have time to work again but when you do like it's just it's, it's repetitive like they give you the answer and then you're stuck somewhere else and you have to do it again it's just wastes time thank you Eric Gloria well I had already said this before I, I think it wasn't in your class though when we have the last face to face I said that another thing is that you don't really have like interaction with your classmates either you know and that kind of sucks because like one of the cool things for me when I was going to school was like you know just seeing everybody and you know getting to to school and like talking or other people that are just like you but we don't really see each other except for the face to face classes you know so that could be another disadvantage Thank you, you're right. Gloria? Well, exactly as Cesar and Eric said, it's the same thing. We, uh, we don't have the opportunity to know each other, so we are totally strangers, and we don't know who to ask when we have a question. Uh, I don't know my classmates' emails, and it, it happens to with with the other subjects study skills I don't know what happened with the assignment and I don't know why they asked here at the time I posted and I was asking the teacher finally three days the answer and no the answer your two of your classmates Tell them to post something fine about your assignment, but it, it, it has spent a lot of time. Gloria, I guess you're having problems with the microphone. Do you listen well to Gloria, Cesar, and Eric? Yeah, your voice was kind of uh, going back and going, uh, coming and going. Gloria, I don't know, maybe it's a microphone, but anyway. Okay, uh, about that. In a little bit of echo. Go ahead, Eric. 
Well, probably another disadvantage can be that sometimes technology fails, you know, and like last week that we didn't have this or, or you know, I mean, it's not 100%, you know, fail-proof, so that could be another one, I guess. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go ahead, please. Uh, well, can you listen me? Can you uh -huh. listen to me now? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, the, it happens to me with the with assignment, the last uh, with study skills, and and I uh, I don't know what happened with my assignment. I couldn't post it, and I don't know why the icons disappear at the moment I post it. And I asked to the teacher, "What can I do?" Finally, she ans she answered to me, but today's Two days later, so for me, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to stay there waiting and waiting for what is going to happen. So it is it's kind of death free for me to 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 wait too much time for an, an answer. And and we don't know each other. We are totally strangers. Is what I said that we are strangers, and I, I don't even know some of my inmates their emails or their cell phones or their phones at home and, and when we are in a face-to-face -face class it's totally different we know each other we ask each other when if I don't understand something I can ask the person next to me but in this case no I, I, I don't have no one to ask yes you're right uh, about the email addresses in this class for example you had the chance Yes, Eric, you're right. A lot of time to interact, socialize is another important factor. But I was telling you, uh, in this class, you had the chance to see everyone's email address because uh, I left it open for you. So you can have everyone's address, I mean, email addresses. And also, about two weeks ago, Cesar offered you um, communicating to each other using Skype. For example, at Skype, you can use uh, video as well as in this uh, WSAQ platform, but the problem is the bandwidth. That's the reason I don't use uh, the video, the, I mean the webcam. But anyway, mm, and, but I agree, yes, it is uh, not the same. Yes, we need to socialize, we need to interact with it, each other, and we need sometimes uh, not exactly uh, help from tutors, but, uh, okay, thank you. For example, in this class, you can, uh, I don't know, maybe it should be with all the tutors, yes, but uh, Fernando has talked to me on the phone, as well as Cesar, and who else? From this class, I guess only you two. From the old semesters, many of the students use the phone. And sometimes, for example, they have told me that they don't like to talk to the machine, I mean to the answering machine. Okay, Cesar? Okay, let's continue. And what about this one, this kind of a risky, dangerous uh, question? What about the lack of digital competence from your tutors? Is that a disadvantage or an advantage? You can use the microphone, Cesar, Eric, Gloria. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Um, how can I say this in a nice way? <laughs> uh, well, in your case, you know a lot about technology, right? So you got all this stuff, and honestly, I've been learning a lot in your class, and, uh, and I've been learning a lot about technology, obviously. Um, I think maybe the other I mean the other teachers know their subjects well like you know the history teacher and then the, the theory teach like they know their subjects real well but I think that if they knew a little bit more about technology they could do you know some things a little bit differently it wouldn't be so repetitive or or boring I guess I don't want to be rude but I mean 
they could do other other things like that make it a little more interesting like in your class we're doing this or a video and then we're taking this blog and this web page and blah 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 and you get all this stuff and that's pretty cool I mean it helps out a lot okay thank you Eric Gloria Eric, Gloria. Um, what Cesar said is is true. You know, we don't really do this thing with other other teachers. Uh, but I'm gonna confess that I'm a digital caveman. You know, <laughs> I have very little digital competence myself. So like, I I'm not. But it is good though. I mean, this is pretty cool. You know, it's and I think this is real good for us because there's few of us. You know, I think if the group was like 20, like we were at the beginning, it wouldn't be all that because, you know, everybody would, you know, have to take a chance to talk and we wouldn't be able to interact so much. But it is, it is cool. Thank you. Gloria. This is the one I prefer. Uh, thank you. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, I'm learning a lot because there are several things that, uh, that I that didn't know. Now I know how to use some programs. I have to use. I have. I know how to use some some tools. And and exactly as I said, the the other teachers they know their theory. They know how to how to work with the with their subject. But now this one is different. We have an activity over here. Uh, with, the, with the computer and the others were just typing and typing and typing, uh, reading and typing, reading and typing, think different things, theories or history. And we use different, we are creating different things. That's what I love to, but I, I'm, I'm learning a lot and how to use the computer for a, for a very real good thing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Eric mentioned another one that is a disadvantage for me, the size of the class. Actually, the, the ideal number of students, I mean e-learners, must be 12 students, no more. I don't know why uh, in the last five semesters, coordinators have, a, I don't know, maybe preventing the, the dropout of some students, but they have had a lot of students the ideal number is 12, yes. I remember about three semesters ago, I had 42 students online. My goodness, where am I going to take the time to, uh, to, mean, to, I mean, to talk to each other, to, to give feedback? And I don't know why, but suddenly in two or three weeks, I had about 10 students from 42. But anyway, maybe uh, the problem could be in those... Um, propedeutical courses yes they don't they don't teach or they don't tell students the real problems in, in, in communicating or taking classes but anyway so the size of the class is another one it's another disadvantage for me okay uh, and for, for example it is it happened the same yes at Centro Yomas I have a big room and I usually have 28 to 32 students I said well it's not the size of the room, the classroom. Yes, imagine if I'm going to have 50 students, like in elementary schools, public elementary schools, well, I'm going to take the patio. But anyway, this is the size of the class at this advantage, but mostly in this environment. Okay, guys, let's go to the next topic. And, yes, Gloria, go ahead can go back if you want it. <laughs> yeah, it's my son's uh, bedroom. Okay, guys. <laughs> Good. So, so far, we have only three uh, movies. Lucia sent me an email message asking me if she could use the Windows Live Movie Maker. She said that uh, Windows Movie Maker was kind of old. 
I know it is old, but if you compare the Windows Live Movie Maker with the Windows Movie Maker, it's a lot better than the rustic, the old Movie Maker. In the Live Movie Maker, you cannot do many things, yes? For example, you can add text, but not the way you want it. You can add images, and you can add audio, but not exactly the way you, you should you should do it, or you, you, you could do it using Movie Maker. Anyway, so the question is, uh, I forgot to tell you to, to embed these uh, movies into your blogs. That was the idea, but I forgot it. And also the computer problem. Yes, but anyway, let's go into the next question. Tell us, please, share what you experience in designing. Frustration, excitement. What do you experience while designing the movie? Ladies first, Gloria. Start again. <laughs> okay, it's okay. okay. Uh, the first problem I had, it was, it, it was the time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's my song, he's like... <laughs> okay. So for me, it was the time. Uh, I think uh, the... I, 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 need more, I need more time to do it. I, I think if I had more time to do it, I could do it better. <laughs> uh, but it was a short time to do it. And and the other thing it was uh, I don't know why but maybe because it's the first time we I work with this and and I don't know what happened because uh, I expected to do the it was a the music generous um, video and I I was passing every song with a, it, its title but I don't know what happened with sometimes <laughs> the mix I mix the videos. Or the or the pictures or the images. I don't know why that happened. Maybe because I don't have the the, the ability to work with it or to work with it or to deal with it. Okay, thank you, Gloria. I was reading what Eric wrote. I, I thought it was about using Movie Maker, but it was about the door. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Eric. with mine too I did mine about phobias because right now in my class we are that's one of our topics and uh, I had different images for each phobia that it was actually Amalia made that comment to me and she was right you know every phobia did have a different image and the one that you saw if you watched the video was the last one uh -huh. I don't know what happened to the other ones but they just didn't appear and I didn't I previewed it and it, they were all there right and then okay I just saved it and I didn't watch it until after when I had already put it on YouTube and I was like damn it's not <laughs> there but I, I've used another program it's called cool edit it's really old but I'm very familiar with it because I've used it um, when I when I make music and you can also edit video on it I, I would have liked to use that one but then I was like no nah, just use the movie maker one it's really old but I mean it's it's a lot easier to put in audio into that one not text so much but I was I thought I'll make the text in the movie maker and put the audio in on this one I didn't do it. It didn't come out so good, but I mean, I got the experience of how to use it, and it was pretty good. What's the name of the program, the software? Do you please type it, Eric? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. It's okay. Cesar, tell us about your experience. What happened? unfortunately but um, I guess um, the good thing I could say is that I've already worked with Movie Maker in fact I've used it a lot of times not in my class well actually once one yeah one time I did use it but I have used it before to make like a, like how can I say like birthday videos or something like that you know something 
for personal use more than education. Okay. Okay, guys, you're using the messenger? <laughs> I listen to it. Okay. But anyway, do you think that it is, a, is it a good idea to use it? I mean, to design your own, not exactly what they call videos, is it? Because once you uh, use uh, images, texts, etc., is that uh, is because you want to, I don't know, reach uh, to a certain point, uh, I don't know, in vocabulary, grammar, punctuation, etc. So you can design your class and your lessons in, in the format of a video. And I guess it is a great advantage. I was uh, reading one of the guys I follow uh, in Facebook, and he's a, he's a, a fan of movie maker. And he's used it, I don't know, maybe since the moment it was uh, born, when this movie maker, and actually I s send him some questions and he always takes the time to, to answer me. But anyway, it is a great tool. For example, most teachers hate nowadays uh, PowerPoint. They prefer Prezi. But honestly, if you have some tools, uh, for example, I'm talking about this, piece of software that is great, iSpring. And let me type the other one. Let me see the name. For example, with the first one, iSpring, you can have uh, Whatever you do in PowerPoint, you can have it. You can have, for example, audio images, etc. As a, a common PowerPoint, but you can design it, and finally you can do it. You can upload it as a, an HTML uh, file, and also as a flash file. And with this quiz maker, you can do many things, many many things. Nowadays, for example, uh, we are using the textbook Top Notch. And Top Notch is really interactive because it has a DVD for students as well as for, as for teachers. And then you can find a lot of uh, great activities in the DVD for students. But sometimes teach, I mean, students do not have money to buy the original books, so they go and get photocopies. And that's the problem. What I do is I design with the, the, the Ice Cream Quiz Maker and PowerPoints, I design the same kind of uh, activities with a little bit, uh, let's say, user-friendly formats with the Ice Cream Quiz Maker, and students can do all the exercises even if they have or do not have the textbook, I mean the CD. But anyway, uh, Movie Maker is a great tool. I usually use it, and I recommend my students, for example, Instead of uh, coming to the class, and, and, and I mean to the exams, talking about the oral tests, they come and design something. Yes, they. It could be a summary. It could be a kind of a topic, a new topic, and then they. What they do is they place images, uh, parts of different videos, but they narrate what they have with the movie maker, and usually I ask them to do it three to five minutes long. And it's, instead of being in front of the teacher doing an oral test, they do this. And for me, it's better. Why? Because once uh, they send me the, the, the movie, and I can say, uh, I can tell, I can ask them to uh, correct whatever mistake they have. And for me, and that is learning. Yes? And the oral test, they're going to ask questions, they're going to present the topic, but it's not the same. They don't, have a, they don't have a chance to modify. But anyway, it's a great tool for me. I recommend you to use it very often. Any opinions, any questions so far? Yes, Gloria, go ahead. Better for you, uh, Movie Maker or this one, Ice Spring Quiz Maker? Well, Movie Maker is for designing movies, and the Ice Spring Quiz Maker is for designing quizzes. Like, for example, drag and drop, fill in the blanks, hot spot. Let me find some activities. I mean, the, the, the URL. 
and I can send you so you can go and experience it by yourself actually this is a piece of software somebody gave me as a present and it is uh, of course you can go and buy it it's about uh, 499 dollars I don't have that money well I do have it but I had a chance to get it let me I'm typing Okay, I'm gonna give you this. Why don't you go and take a look at it? It's a, actually I was looking for another one but I can't find it. I'm gonna try to get it. Okay, so Gloria, I don't know if I answered the question. Movie makers for designing movies and uh, quiz makers, as the, as the name says, yes, you design quizzes, different kinds of sweet quizzes. For example, uh, comparing to uh, the website EducaPlay, you can do all of those exercises, but for me, it's a lot better. I spring, I spring quiz, quiz maker is better than EducaPlay. But anyway, you can find it, you can go to a website, everyone. This is the website. And of course, it's not going to be, it, it is going to be a kind of a, how can I say, illegal, cracked. And you can download it, you can install it, but you need to be, yeah, it's a good place to find software. The problem is that you need to be careful when you install it, you need to make sure that you don't click on the updating. Eric, go ahead, please. Eric? For example, if you go, uh, yeah, go, go ahead, please tell us about Movie Maker, Eric. Well, I was going to say that uh, if we use videos in class, you know, um, like videos that are on YouTube or, or whatever, well, it's much better to make your own videos. I mean, we didn't really make videos. Well, I didn't make like a video video this time, but you know, using the camera, you can do whatever, you know, and that's much better for your class and for your students, I guess. Yes, you're right. For example, what I do, I, I combine some videos from YouTube in the Movie Maker, and then I have a different class sometimes, for example, you find great uh, videos on YouTube, but they are too long, or sometimes they have mistakes, and then you can edit, edit I mean, you can uh, take parts of the videos and and you can send them to students etc okay guys if you go for this ice spring this is the one you should look for ice spring pro the version 6.0 but make sure you do not select the updating uh, check why because it's going to be a problem also it's going to be 
kind of uh, integrated into PowerPoint. And if you are using PowerPoint 2010, it's not going to work. It works with uh, the 2007 version of PowerPoint. But anyway, this is an all, these are our tools. Actually, uh, I, a few days ago, I started a, a group and I'm gonna send you invitations. Uh, this is a, to a group for sharing tools to use in the language classroom. And in the, at the moment, I don't have the link, but I'm gonna send you invitations so you can go whenever you want it. And you can find not only the tools I use in class, the idea is to use uh, tools people use. I mean, real teachers from different countries, yes? And sometimes, for example, you can find a lot of great tools in the internet, but uh, what I meant by real teachers is that they are not really teachers. They are they know about the tools, but they they don't use the tools with students. And for me, the best way to know about using tools is when you find a tool, you use it with your students, and also if you ask your students to use that tool, that's the best way to know about that tool. That is for me a real teacher, and the other one is a kind of a only they know about the theory, etc. But anyway, that's my opinion. Let's continue with this. It's almost time. The next tool for next week is called VoiceThread. Sorry. Can you hear me? Okay, Cesar, maybe it's... Uh, uh, uh. Is you, not me, Cesar. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> this is... This is the tool for next week. Voice thread. Actually, it is... A website, you can go and get an account, get familiar with it, and then we will use it next week. And the idea is to know voice thread and use it with our students. Uh, this tool is going to be embedded. You create a, a thread, and like the one in the in the forums we do. But this is mostly with students can type also. Cesar is not a website. Uh -uh. Is it? Is it a? It's a program. You can download it. Yeah, actually, it is a. a if you download the iSpring Pro, it says something like, like the iSpring Suite. So you you're gonna have too many tools. I recommend you only install what it is uh, the QuizMaker and the iSpring Pro. The iSpring Pro you can use it with the with PowerPoints and the iSpring QuizMakers to to design your quizzes. And the other ones are kind of a, when you do something, they go immediately into the website and then it's going to be, you're going to tell them, hey guys, I'm using the software, but I didn't pay for it. And you may have problems. So I recommend only you install the Chris Maker and the iSpring Pro for the PowerPoint. But remember, it must be the 2007 version of Microsoft. Okay, Cesar, Eric, Gloria, any questions? If not, it is time to say goodbye. Okay guys, as always, it's been a pleasure spending time with you. Have a nice weekend and I'll see you online on Monday. Thank you, Eric. Okay, Gloria, thank you. Okay.
See you later, alligator. You know why? Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Cesar. I forgot that one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna talk to, I'm gonna count to three, and I'm gonna finish this conference. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next week. Have a nice weekend. One, two, three. Bye-bye.